sauce and seasoning. You like same with some group. French food. I could talk about food for days. Now I'm going to go Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to go to the If you're new here, Karibu, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber. Hi, thanks for subscribing. Um, yeah, have you watched the previous episode? And let's get straight on to the video. <laughs> Yes, yes, I do enjoy French food, although it's not as spicy as, you know, the Kenyan meals. And I live with a French family, so I've had the opportunity to taste a variety. And yeah, um, if I'm meant to describe all of them, we could take like days just talking about the different types. So I'll just uh, mention a few that I, that I enjoy. Um, so there is the raclette. Um, raclette is a food eaten mostly in winter and by people who live around mountains, around cold areas, you know. So it's a, food, it's a meal that helps to, it's, it, it's eaten mostly in winter and around mountains because it helps you to generate um, warmth. Um, it's basically made up of potatoes and cheese and some, some, some beef. Um, uh, there is a galette de roi. Galette de roi is like a cake baked with some porcelain toys inside. And usually when they when it's cooked um, and served, um, the person that eats and finds the toy inside is crowned king. You're actually given a crown to wear king of the season, of New Year season. Um, the French cheese, wine and bread. Where there is cheese, there's bread. And where there is cheese and bread, there is wine, always. Um, yeah, yeah the, the cheese has a particular scent. I didn't want to say smell. The cheese has a particular scent that you kind of um, get accustomed to. I remember in Kenya, I never used to enjoy. I never used to eat cheese. Literally, like I tried like three or four times, and I was like, "He mm -mm, me But then I came here, and it's the land of cheese, the land of wine, and the land of bread. The best bread you'll ever eat. Not the best, actually. Well, the best, but there is probably better bread in Amsterdam <laughs> yeah um, so um, the, the, the cheese has a particular scent and taste and I've managed to get accustomed to it and now I enjoy cheese and um, the wine also is very good um, different regions produce the wine and they have the different types of taste and I remember I visited a, a wine castle and I found out that there is like a thousand like different flavors, there's a thousand flavors or more of wine. And the one that shocked me the most is color pencils. Actually, there is wine that tastes like color pencils. Who thought that could be possible? Well, somebody of course did, that's why it exists anyways. Um, there is also like the, the jams, the jam is called La Confiture, oh my god they have the best jam you'll ever taste and they, they even do it like homemade jams because there is more fruits during the summer season so they make a lot of it and they store it enough to help them go through the winter season and yeah that is one of the things I definitely want to learn how to make like homemade jam with the like available fruits and it's really really good. And um, last, I'd like to talk about desserts, the French, des you know, the French desserts, the ones you have like after your meals. Um, they can be, yeah, they're really good and they can be really, really sugary. You know, unakula hadimeno, they tell you, your, your teeth tell you, it's enough, mommy, stop now. <laughs> yeah, so one of my favorites is mousse au chocolat. It's made of chocolate, raw eggs, yes, and... Um, Raw eggs, chocolate, and 
the milk. I hope I got that right. Yeah. And yeah, you'll eat, you'll definitely eat lots of raw eggs and half cooked meat. Yeah. When you come to France. But yeah, I enjoy French food so far. I am happy about the experience I have and the taste that I have had of the different varieties. And that's that. Yes. We can't say I enjoy French food. It's different. At the beginning, things like cheese and, okay, most of the meals have cheese. Things like those would just like not work for me. But I'd say there are some foods I enjoy, some few foods I enjoy. They're not too bad, but the things that I really, really <laughs> do not enjoy uh like uh for example when you eat raw stuff for like salmon raw salmon i don't know just raw raw like raw food and everything just mm, it doesn't go for me it doesn't go very very well very very well yeah but i do enjoy um the meals but it's not oh my god what is it i love this no it's just it's okay it's cool it's it's easy it's okay honestly at first i didn't quite enjoy french food because it was different and also because i was fresh from kenya and you all know you all know how good a food is and how explosive in terms of taste it can get so it wasn't hard uh, it wasn't so easy for me to switch from that to this because french food is not known enough to be spicy they don't use a lot of spices well spices while making their food so it's very different from our kenyan cuisine and I remember the first meal I had was like pasta and some long sausages that taste different from what we have back home. And I thought to myself, Yani hi chakula, hata chumbi, haina. So what I did is I took everything that looked like a spice on that table and I just went crazy on my food like psh, 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 psh. And trust me, it tasted so much better after that. It was so much better. But now, seven months later, and living with a French family, of course my opinion has changed. I enjoy French food, I really love French food. It's good and it's here that I have come to appreciate that sometimes food can be good without being spicy. Like you can enjoy a good meal that's not spicy. I never thought that that's a possibility back in Kenya because you know, us and seasoning, we're like same or subgroup. <laughs> One French meal I'd really recommend and it'd be a shock because I don't like cheese much is fondue. So let me tell you about a little bit about fondue. <laughs> so fondue is when okay, this is how it's done. It's a it's a mixture of different cheeses, like many, like five different cheeses, five different types of cheese, which is melted, and then you eat it with bread. So they melt the cheese, they, you fast cook it, and then when you put it on the table, you can't really put it on the table like that. You still have to continue heating because you know cheese gets um, harder when it's cold. Yeah, so you still continue heating. You put another source of heat under, and you're all around the fondue thing with like forks with some bread, mostly baguette. So you've cut bread into pieces right there. And you take the forks, the little two forks, and you scoop the cheese with your forks, and oh, you just, you know, you eat it with such goodness. The first time and the one time I did for you, unfortunately, I've just done it once because it's a community meal. Um, we we were all standing. You know, you always have to be standing because. You know, you peek, you shoop, shoop. It's like a quick, you know, I don't know how to explain. Studio, I'm Biagi. 
<laughs> but yes you have to be really quick and make sure you don't eat it too late because the cheese is going to be too hard yeah and you have to be on your toes and it's such it has such a community vibe i think that's why i like the fondue because it's so we can't have okay you can't have fondue alone but it's like I don't know it's a weird thing so you're in a circle and you're all standing and you're all picking up the cheese with your bread mm. for you i've recommended for you even if you don't like cheese okay i don't like cheese um when it's raw like like that I prefer cheese that's melted, melted cheese, melted cheese, and fondue is melted cheese, and it is amazing, amazing. Is there a street? And so I would 100% recommend French food because I mean, if you're coming to France, I'm assuming you want to learn about their culture, you want to get to know them better, and everything, and what's a like what a better way to get to know people other than through their food and things like those mm -hmm. is there i don't think so so you want to try things out don't be afraid to dry things out actually i remember uh the most weirdest thing i've tried is snails i ate snails <laughs> but i can't tell you what they tasted like because i couldn't really tell because they were like prepared with butter and herbs some herbs so all i could taste was butter and those herbs i don't really know what they taste like in real life but removing them from the shell i was like and i could see the slugs i see at home it was so well you you must have a heart to try it like you have to have a very strong heart to do that like removing it from the shell but you have to be open-minded it won't kill you so i did try that and it was amazing i had six of them for the first time which is crazy but i don't think i'll try it again it was just for the experience and here we are we got the experience never doing that again but i'd advise you to try crazy things like those also make sure you taste their pastries because they are so good and the possibilities are endless there's so many things good things that you want to try if you love pastries like I do mm -hmm. you're gonna love it here and if you're a wine person and a cheese person I mean those two go hand in hand where there is wine there is cheese and where there is two, there are those two that is France so you're gonna definitely like it duh um, um, I would recommend La Raclette um, it's a meal eaten in winter and by people who live around the mountains because it helps to keep you warm. So it's made up of potatoes, boiled potatoes, um, cheese and, and some beef. So um, it's not like beef chunks but you have like small like, like beef patties, something like that. The ones you used to make sandwich, I don't remember how they're called. Um, so... Um, enjoy it because one it's really delicious and two because of how it's prepared so you boil your beef you boil your so not your beef but you boil your potatoes and the beef it's like when it, you buy it like ready to eat and so the fun part is melting the cheese so you will either have a device um, that's used to melt cheese like you have the little pieces of cheese you put on your on your on your hot plate and it melts and you pour it on your dish and you know you eat with your potatoes and your and your and your meat and if you don't have that device for melting you can also you could also melt it in a pot and then you share around you but then the, the, the cheese will solidify again so the fun part is melting it and pouring the molten cheese on your dish it's really fun and sweet and yeah I love it and I had it on my birthday so it's it was really special um street food I haven't seen any street food where I live but uh, I will remember I was in Paris like a very long time ago thanks Corona thank you and I saw my Hindi Choma but it's funny because the myth is like yellow and so ni mahindi choma ya yellow 
ni funny it went for like one euro which converts to around 100 and something kenyan shillings you really don't want to do that by the way if you're buying things here don't try and convert that money because it's going to drive you crazy you'll be tempted to do it you will find yourself doing it but if you can just don't don't do it for your own sake don't do it is there street food um well um it's not like in kenya where you uh, occasionally find a mamambajia at the corner samosas and smoky pasua um you'll most definitely find lots of bakeries around and within the bakeries they sell croissants um pao chocolat pao raisin that's like bread with chocolate or raisins inside and you also find like some donuts and yeah just lots of sugary snacks actually and um you will definitely find a lot of street food during carnivals if there is a carnival in the city the word is it a carnival or it's definitely not a concert but in french the word is carnaval and um, during christmas season like from beginning or from the beginning of december you'll definitely find plenty plenty of kiosks that sell um, stuff like um, waffles crepes crepe a crepe is like a pancake and um, churros and um, like lots of sweets and candy and um, yeah they also sell during christmas because since it's it's, it's in uh, winter season they also sell hot wine it's it's really nice it's spicy it's cooked with some spice and stuff and yeah the only thing is they serve it in like a small cup like this but anyways yeah the, the, the street food is not like the same way sold in Kenya it's sold in kiosks and the kiosks are temporary only for like like a specific um, celebration or yeah for a specific period of time so there's not much street food i don't know i wouldn't really say street food it's not like uta you'll walk a lot of parties more keep us up oh parties dream would rather or see you in there cannot wait but um i don't know There are few places where you can buy like when I the one time I was in Paris you could buy I could buy nyama choma imagine but it's corn choma so it's like and the nyama choma mind the choma <laughs> sorry mind the choma yeah so you may go up and then these that these things are usually fry I just forgotten their name they are around they're like nuts they fry them um yeah so there's not really like street food like street street like kabisa maybe it's because i'm from here the only things that would be there probably um that are called street food but it's not really street food would be like their kebabs um and tacos but there it's not street street you know it's not street 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 yeah yeah So we prefer to cook food, you know, because um freshly cooked food is always king, you know. And also my family prefers to buy organic um food products and yeah, basically they buy everything organic. And so um you're like obligated to cook at the end of the day and we also like to share and kind of show off our cooking skills and prepare our best dishes. So yeah, we prefer we prefer to cook. And yeah, just it's it's just a few times that we bought prepared food like two or three. That's all, that's all I remember. Um I don't cook cuz I live with a French family so they cook for me. Yes. But sometimes I do cook for them. I do make Kenyan Kenyan meals for them. So far I have tried chapatis, ugali and samosas and they've loved each and every one of them, especially ugali. They actually eat ugali without anything else. They can just prepare ugali, nyama and spinach and then they'll just eat it like kando. It's so it's so amazing that they love ugali. <laughs> well, um, um I cook I'm lucky enough to be staying in a place where I can cook, so I choose to cook. And buying food is like 
I don't know, it's quite expensive. So I choose buying food is quite expensive. So I choose to cook cook my own food. Yeah, uh, okay, it's not too it's not it's not crazily expensive, but it would be in the long run it would be more expensive to buy to buy food all the time as opposed to cooking my own food. And so I cook my own food. Yeah. We're trying to be economical. Mm -hmm. What the first thing I'll have when I come back home that will definitely be Mahindi Choma ah, Mahindi Choma and a lemon and a masala mm, That combination is like bomb Also my smoky pasua eh, Na kachumbari Yini kuna pili pili pa umbali that, Those are the things that I'm gonna have first when I land there You all better have them in those, pa, in those quarantine facilities though Cause if not Well, I won't do anything but I'm just hoping. <laughs> oh my gosh, when I arrive in Kenya, wow, 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 wow. Ungali, nyamachoma, kachumari. That is the first thing. <laughs> As in, wow, 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 I've been dreaming about it. Ah, remember this nyamachoma? They made me so gali, even miss kachumari, it's gonna Piri piri kafiri fairy. Oh my god, Nico ready. Yes. So you know if you're anyone ask me out when I come back. My cooper secrets. Maybe cozy and siri. Free. Free of charge. Just ask me out for Yamachoma. Which are how many parts are you? this so when I arrive in Kenya I would love to eat tilapia freshly fished from the Lake Victoria mm -hmm. and then it's nicely washed and deep fried in nice clean oil and then some nice kachumbari like with avocado and um, and with a little lemon and with some nice brown ugali. I miss that. I'm from the lake side. I miss that a lot. Oh my god, which food have I missed the most? I think as I've said, Nyama Choma. I have missed street food. Oh my god, you made me smell too Mutura, hey, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'm coming, like, I'm just coming for all the goodness of Mutura. Um, pasua, you may miss my pasua. Sausages. There's, mm -hmm. there's like sausage here, but it's not the sausage that we are used to. I don't know, it's different, it's so different. So, I'm gonna eat sausages, sausages, literally cool. What else have I missed? Things like chapo, um, chai. By there, I missed tea. Chai ya kawaida. Nimea miss chai like chai ya maziwa. Majani. You know, there's no tea, tea like Kenyan tea here, so that's why. Don't be too shocked. Uh, so I am. A gourmand. A gourmand is somebody who appreciates food. So I um, actually miss all the Kenyan meals, like the ones you know, the commonly prepared, prepared Kenyan meals, like ugali and kienyeji mboga. You know the mboga that's boiled for several days in milk. I miss chicken, like <clears throat> the chicken that roams around and eats almost everything and anything and then you marinate it afterwards like you boil it and uh, and you 
either fry it in a stew or you just marinate it and deep fry it in oil. What were you? And I miss mango passion, you know. I miss smoky pasua and sometimes even with the chapati. I miss everything. I miss chapo beans. I just miss the, the spicy taste of, you know, most of our Kenyan dishes. I miss everything, guys. I just want to come back home and eat. And finally, the thing, the one thing I miss most is uh, Nyama Choma. Yeah, like Nyama Choma that is well marinated and has all the spices. Yeah. So we have finally come to the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I'm giving you a minute to subscribe. And don't forget to like and share. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.